Hola, everybody. What's up, Welcome. guys? Brian. Landon. Boomsies issue. Dos. Dos. Two. We are in Espanol. We're available. <laughs> You've been and saying hola like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it going. Hola. Yeah. I'm part Espanol. I'm not. Hmm. Remotely. Really? Yeah. That dark, supple skin of yours <laughs> is not because of uh, any kind of Latino heritage? Italian, I'd say. Hmm. Well, Italian as well. Welcome to the mob. Well, this is issue number two. And how have you been, Landon? I've been good. I mean, I've been, I've been playing a 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> after, oh god! After the issue, I went out and uh, bought one and been playing Zelda, and it's pretty awesome. Mhm. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> You're less than thrilled about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last don't, don't week. Don't hide it. Don't sugarcoat it. Whatever. Well, last week it was different because you know we're all. Pretty much bagging on 3DS. I mean, I wouldn't we, say that I was bagging on it though. Well, we weren't exactly favorable. If it well, was a family member, we would have kind of been like, "Yeah, is it coming to the family reunion?" No. Well, Not everything really. I said last week, I still hold true. I still think okay. it's lacking in the games. The fact that, like, to me, like I, I got, I got the Zelda. Okay. And then yeah. the other game I got was Lego Star Wars. Yeah, that's just they, good too. They had a little special. It was, it's cool. I like them. Next week is Resident Evil. That's cool. But I think it's like a month of no games after that. Like, there's, yeah. there's absolutely nothing that's coming yeah, out. Yeah, so the that, release schedule is yeah. kind of sparse. Star Fox coming up. I, but now tell the viewers your reasoning, though, for your conversion to 3DS was because of one game. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda, yeah. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Zelda was like $300? Yes. Yeah. I'll pay it. Yeah. Take my money. Well, a good buddy of mine who's had one since day since launch, he I, he was helping me out and and I just went over and played his his 3DS and played the Zelda and I was blown away by it. Like the 3D was strong and not obnoxious and the gameplay was great. It felt like a whole new experience and I really really enjoyed it and I had to get it <laughs> clearly cuz the next day, literally uh. less than 24 hours of me playing it, I had one in my hand. <laughs> That's bad. Well, I, I I think that's great. Good for you. Good for all you do. But I, it's still not worth three hundred dollars. That's it. three hundred bucks. It's cool though. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but it's nice. That's a that's an Xbox three hundred and sixty. Hey, I got Excite Bike for free. That came free with the. <laughs> well, Plus. hey, three hundred dollars has been free, paid yeah. off now. That's and a free Pokedex. <sighs> so, I, guys, I'm gonna. Lana's <laughs> gonna finish the cast. I'm going longer to get a free. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Pokedex, you say? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, uh, and any other uh, impressions we wanted to talk about from last week? That Any changes, any thoughts besides your conversion to the world of 3DS? I, I don't know. That was, that was my biggest thing. Am, <laughs> I, am, I, for, am I forgetting anything? Well, great. No. Was, was no, there? no, that's all. What about you? <laughs> uh, no, no. Just playing a little uh, Shadows of the Damned, which is uh, the new uh, Shinji Mikami Suda 51 joint. Which is very enjoyable. If you like Resident Evil 4, it's like Resident Evil 4 on crack. To get through gates, you feed a baby's head strawberries. Would you, would you say more acid than crack? Or? <laughs> it's, it's, a mix, the, it's a big cocktail. I don't know the drugs, but... <laughs> it's a big cocktail of stuff. It's a big cocktail. Uh, Duff Mana here. Have fun playing just Zelda for a while. Yeah? No, Resident Evil next week. I'll be playing that. Yeah. Exactly. It's got the online co-op, and well, I've got a friend the, to play it with. As so. long as the battery lasts, you know, so for five minutes. The battery's not as bad that's as good. you say. Oh, it's like six minutes. Whatever. Six minutes, Whatever. You know? Whatever. I mean, that's great. You know, Whatever. play it for a little ten minutes. Oh, nope. I'm done. Charge it back up. That's that's good. I, I... You're so full of crap. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. No, it's, it is nice. Thank you. Well, hey, Even you though know, I know that was completely sarcastic, but... <laughs> that, like, there was no genuineness behind that at all. So, uh, how about we go ahead and move into our first topic of discussion. What I've been... One of the things I've been playing, and you've also been playing, is the uh, Sonic Generations <clears throat> demo. Yeah. That just came out on the uh, PlayStation Network. Um, kind of a big thing. Yeah. Like, this is what Sonic fans have wanted, right? Yeah. For a decade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Sonic like, I, don't I don't understand why it's so hard to, like... It took so long... This is all they wanted. <laughs> I and would say. we finally got it. Yeah. Well, we both got a chance to play it a little bit. Um, I mean, I'll just say my impression so far. Like, graphically, as you can see there, I mean, 
great. You know, style-wise, they've got it right. Music, they've got it right. But I'm just going to tell you my biggest problem with it is the frame rate. Because every 2D Sonic game, like the DS ones that were done by Dimps, uh, Sonic 4, 60 frames a second. And that's, for me, that's Sonic. Right. Because it's fast, he's a blue. But, see, now I could fully understand this argument. Sorry, the cat, yeah. <laughs> Don't I could, be distracted yeah, by the cat. I, know. I, I could fully understand your argument if this was the retail release of it. But it's a demo. Right when you turn it on, they say right. this does not reflect what the game will really be. Well, I hope. Yeah. I hope because if they don't have the frame rate right, then I'm not interested. Yeah. Like at all. Because when you got in the fast sections of that, like when you really speed up and go through those loop to loops, it kind of gets a little hectic. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know, I don't, I don't, you know, I understand what you're saying, but I don't find it so god-awful that I'm like, uh, even if it was released at that point. But, really? Yeah. Because then he is I would, really the I blue would, blur. Well, I, yeah. He's the real blue blur, because <laughs> yeah. you can't see him. Yeah. Well, I would, I definitely, I definitely say I would prefer it the other way, but yeah. it's not. Yeah. Whatever. So, you know, you got uh, both the old Sonic and the new Sonic, which this demo only lets you play as the old Sonic. Right. Right. Which I'm kind of... I wish I would let you play the new one as well. Because you know, I imagine you have the homing... Maybe they'll release a second demo. Maybe a second demo. <laughs> yeah. Episode an, 2. An expansion the... <laughs> to the demo. <laughs> oh, God. Bless you, Sonic team. Well, I hope they do a good job with this. Because... I don't know. I've kind of been disappointed with Sonic team as of late. Well, yeah. I don't know. They they do they have their ups and their downs. There's occasionally the, see, their games will get good reviews. You can and then do no wrong down. by Sonic fans. Yeah. Like Sonic fans, and I I don't view the viewers can tell Sonic fans are hardcore. Like you can release anything. You can release a dog turd, and they'll be like, you know, this dog turd is a little too moist, yeah. a little too chewy. But I really enjoyed the dog turd. <laughs> it was something I think I could play all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have nothing to say that I no. really well. I'm just, I I'm just hard on I'm that just, analogy. I'm just waiting for like Final Fantasy VIII to pull up <laughs> in this conversation because I know it's gonna happen. No, no, I actually have one joke prepared that I am not gonna use yet, but I'll let you know I have prepared a joke for okay. this episode um, that I will zing you with sometime. Yeah. But you know, uh, Doug Boo Tabi says that new Virtual Boy 2.0 is sweet. Mario Tennis 3D. I think he's making fun of the 3DS. Yeah, I think I think, I think he is. most everybody in this is. He's kind of making <laughs> yeah, fun of it. Yeah, they're all giving me shit. But yeah. hey, hmm. I like it. Whatever. <laughs> we have a very smart and educated audience. What yeah. can I say? <laughs> and apparently a really <laughs> stupid and wasteful <laughs> co-host. Wasteful? How am I wasteful? No, me. I'm talking about me. Oh, I'm you. Fun of well, myself. yeah. You're, you're wasteful. So, um... Let's move on to the uh, main topic of discussion for tonight, shall we? I, yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if, if anybody else wanted to call in, if they you know, had any yes. opinions on the right. Sonic. Okay, I'm getting this point even so wrong. Yeah. Ah, right there, see? We made a big call, 316-778-0730, and we will answer your calls and may or may not care what you have to say. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's, that's the way to get people. You gotta on. be. Yeah. You gotta be honest, man. Yeah. These, it's a relationship with these people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Duff Mana on the Sonic. The frame rate did seem a little sluggish, but it wasn't too bad for demo. Yeah. I, okay. That's the thing. That's the key word. Is that it's a demo. You can't fully judge. It's not well, yeah. like. It's not like we're sitting here writing a review on a game that's not even. But the released. demo should sell you on it. Yeah, like, and it still working, looks it looks beautiful and it's cool and the idea is right and the concept is right. It's okay. everything you want, just the frame rate. And I will wait. The frame rate is I low. I shall it's wait. Demo, so. I hope you do good Sega. I pray Sonic Team 60 frames a second. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Why would it not? What else have they done that's not been? Have they have Oh, uh, some... they've done like uh, a few of their Sonic games have been at 30. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're the 3D ones. 2D ones have always been at 60 usually. Yeah. So. so I hope. Yeah. I'm hoping good things. I'm I'm gonna look on the sunny side of life. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my sunny side thing. <laughs> yeah, I uh, can tell. <laughs> I'm happy. Um, so then, uh, shall we move on to the Halo yeah, discussion yeah, today? Yeah, we'll the on. main yeah. part of uh, yeah. our discussion today, 
which is Halo. Yeah, woo. Ten years old. Yeah. Happy birthday, Halo. We, we need a cake. Did you not get the cake? No. I had them decorate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want it all to they myself. They did the pipe frosting and everything. <laughs> I didn't want to share it with you. Well, then it's sitting there getting old and molding now. No, I'm sorry. Not and I'm molding. Only charged full Come price. On. Okay. I don't want to eat day old cake. No, you're not going to. I'm going to. <laughs> well, who's paying for it? You. You're such a hoe. God, can't believe it. Well, ten years since yeah. the first Halo was a breakthrough hit for the Xbox. Yeah, it's a system seller. One of the main reasons. I mean, up until then, Xbox really didn't have anything. Well, I mean, it was a launch title. It was a launch title. What I mean... It, it, as far as what else come out with it at launch time, I mean, there wasn't really anything else that was Fusion Frenzy a launch title? Because that game uh, kicks ass. <laughs> really, I love the original Fusion. I know Frenzy. there was a, a Zurich or whatever that right. weird game was yeah. that released at first that I could have cared less about. But after ten years, they're going to be releasing the uh, HD mm -hmm. version of it, the Legacy. That's, uh, I mean, what are your impressions of this? remake compared to what was originally available I haven't I, I don't know I haven't seen a lot on the remake but I think it's cool it's what people want they've you know I wish Square would give us a remake of some other cool stuff like Final Fantasy 8 yeah maybe that's, that's never gonna happen <laughs> like <laughs> never but uh, um, yeah no that's super cool that they're doing that you know I kudos to them for sure for sure yeah for realsies yeah well I mean you know, and when Halo came out, did you play it when it first came out? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> really, I fell in love with Halo when it first came out. Yeah, it was so cool. So what? What sold you on Halo? That's I, I'm curious for everybody. What was like that thing know. that said? Honestly, I've got to get it. The trailers were really cool at the time. Like it really made me want to get it. Like the music was right. It just yeah, it really yeah. made me like that is unbelievable. Like the and specifically for me, it was the car combat using the warthog and having your buddies in and yeah. out of the warthog you know using the, the gun on the back and you're driving around like that was so cool and i just i had to do that immediately so for me that that like the music and the vehicular thing was incredible and then once i get in and played it you know the the campaign was fantastic like just exploring around like it really felt alien to me it really felt you know pretty cool and you could feel i don't know the way the campaign played out it was really cinematic and it kind of felt like the, the humanity struggle, like you really felt right. it. I thought, and I thought it was like the first one was really, really solid. So, I mean, story-wise, I mean, it's it's pretty much, you know, aliens, humans, fighting. <clears throat> well, kind of, but then you've got the. If I remember right, it's been a while, but the, the Halo is there because it's it's there to specifically wipe out. Um, the flood right and right. in order to wipe out the flood you have to wipe out all of existence which is what they feed on so really it's there to just eliminate all life and so at the same time master chief has to take out the aliens has to take out the flood and then stop halo from destroying all of life so stopping a lot of things yeah from destroying the earth yeah well not just earth like everything. the universe yeah life forms wow yeah and the music was there? <laughs> <laughs> now, now I will admit the music. Um, for me, when Halo came out, um, I was a little less than impressed. Personally, myself, um, I thought, like, I played it, and it was like, dude, you've got to play Halo. That's like the greatest first-person shooter. I'm like, okay, cool, I'll try it out. Played it, and I did. What were you? What were you comparing it to? Um, what were you expecting it to be better Okay. Than? Well, I will say this much. I wasn't huge. I didn't have a ton of PC first-person shooters, but I did have some PC first-person shooters. So I'd you're quake. comparing this to a PC shooter. Now, I am comparing it to PC, but I'm also comparing it to Time Splitters. Okay. Uh, GoldenEye. Those two, you know, I can respect. Rare. I can respect those comparisons. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean... The, I, like I had played Time Splitters and Goldeneye, and I'm a big fan of the old rare first person shooters, and I thought they were great. So when Halo came out, the first thing that I tried to do was go into options menu and to change the uh, control options. You know, right? Choose what button does what. That wasn't in there. Okay. It was like, oh, 
you can have these four options, and that's it. Oh, you don't like Southpaw? Hmm. Well, too bad. Screw off. Better than no options. Well, but here's <laughs> the thing. Like, here's the big problem. They should have had it to where you could buy in any attack or any action, any button. That's what Time Splitters did. Sure. And that's it. Doesn't take any extra programming. Yeah. So why didn't they do it? I mean, but I can't. I don't know. Like, I hope <laughs> there's other reasons that this isn't a well, good game. Well, I mean, that's a, a big one. If that's, I don't find that a big See, big I'm a big the customization. Because right, like, but that first person be... shooters on a console, there's not that many buttons to fool with. Like a PC, and like, see, PC games did that. You could bind it to any button. So like, Bungie being a PC Mac, well, they were Mac uh, right. developer, <laughs> it would only make sense that they would carry over that kind of mentality over to the console and just say, Customize your controls like you like it. But instead, you had to get used to what they wanted you to play. Well, things had changed quite a bit from when they were originally going to release it as a Mac right, game. Right, right, of course. You know, it was third person, now it's first person. It, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff had changed. Music did not. No, music was <laughs> so great. Full circle music, great. music, sorry. Um, and of course, on your up here, if you guys have an opinion on this, if I'm wrong, or of course if Landon's wrong, which we kind of know where that's going, call us up here, 316 778 Zero seven three zero. We want to hear your opinion, because uh, we don't get calls on this phone. We'll just, we'll just get rid of it. We'll put something else cool in that. Yeah, corner. we'll put something in that corner. Like, what? I don't know. You give the idea, and you have no idea what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, up there. we'll put something else up there. Well, okay. I don't know. Well, then come up with an idea. <laughs> I'll put it. I'll put nothing but three DS footage. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but three DS footage. You'll have like pictures of you caressing your three DS, yeah. like by the beach with the three DS. Rolling around the grass with the 3DS. Yeah. Just yeah. fantasy. 3DS yeah. fantasy. It would be amazing. Secret lovers. Yeah. That's what we are. <laughs> yeah. And you'll be following doing that. That's not going to be a soundtrack. That I'm, I'm going to be over you yeah. following that, singing that. That's yeah. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, a little bit. Is that a fantasy of yours? Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyways. But anyway. So I can't, yeah. I, you know, you, you, you're talking about it based on... Uh, PC games, and I cannot compare it to a PC game because, like, to me, it's bringing a lot of that PC experience to a console which wasn't really allowed. Like, the only other game before this that was an amazing first person shooter was Goldeneye, and that's right. nowhere even close to a PC experience. And this was. Well, I, I disagree because you don't have the customization that's not that the PC allowed. Because I, I compare games as games, no matter the platform. A good, a good RPG on original Nintendo or a good RPG on Xbox 360 no matter the, t the time should still stand the test of time as we grow older so to say that well Halo wasn't a PC game so we can't expect it to live up to that well what standard well, does it live up to? nothing else had lived up to that I'd, I would say that you know Goldeneye is a much better game I'd say Time Splitters <laughs> oh, man. I'd say Time Splitters is a much better game. See? Yeah, right over here. First time splitters. Uh, pretty good. Now, the second time splitters was amazing. Yeah. Ran at 60 frames. Now, that's another complaint. Halo ran at 30 frames a second, which for me, on a first person shooter, 60 frames, it's easier to aim. It's not as jarring of motion. Yeah. You know, um, let's see your Duff Mana here says, honestly, it was the multiplayer aspect of Halo that drove me to get it. It was really the first time I had experienced online gaming, and it was an enjoyable experience. Well, and of course, Halo was LAN. That was the big thing. For Halo There's, 1, but Halo 2. Halo, right. Halo 2, right. But on Halo 1, it was the whole LAN game. Yeah, which was awesome. Which is cool. <laughs> no, it was. It seriously was cool. Like, man, I, I can't tell you how many times we, we've had just tons of people over just connecting, like, so many Xboxes up and just having some fun. Like, it's it was uh, incredible. But see, that's and I look at the gameplay aspects... It's a first-person shooter. Nothing about the gameplay. And here's the other thing. The Warthog, controlling the speed and direction of the Warthog with your directional, you should drive it like a car in a driving game. Accelerate why? or A, accelerate. Because it's a car. No, but it doesn't have, like, they don't have to conform to other games. They're doing why? their own thing. If I'm used to driving a car like I am in a car game, why can't it drive like that? It was. It's still controlled fine enough, and it was fun. I still have fun sliding around, doing corners and stuff. And the that. Warthog... Besides that, drive like complete butt. Whatever, dude, it's skidding all over the place. You could never like you're now, like. But, but now look, like for this being a launch title, like how many other systems have had epic 
launch titles, like system selling. But I would launch see, but that's the, I don't call that epic. I don't call mediocrity. Like I call Halo decent. Can like, you? Okay. Will you? Music? Will you disagree with that? It's a system seller. I will agree. It's a system seller. Now, are you saying that only because it did that, or because you think that it was a quality enough game that it was a system seller? I think it was a system seller because there was no other games that warranted the kind of hype that Halo got. It was kind of like, uh, you know, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. That was Halo. It wasn't exactly the most able-bodied greatest game out there, but compared to what else was out on the Xbox and what else was out on the other consoles, it was like, this this is the best out of what we have, so let's just kind of raise it to the top. I can't... That, that game got, I, I, you know, on Metacritic, had given it a 97%. That game won so many awards, and it drove people to buy a ton of copies of it, and it wasn't a one-hit wonder. That got people to come back for Halo well, 2, sure. and for Halo 3. They, those people can't be wrong. Well, I can say the same thing about Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys sold a lot of albums. <laughs> and it was... NSYNC sold a lot of albums, but would, like, ten years later, would you be like, oh, man, NSYNC. That's my joint, man. I love it. Well, I can't say like I can respect that Goldeneye is a fantastic game. Right. I went back and played that two months ago. I probably won't ever play that game again in my well, life. <laughs> and you know, times advance. Now and I'm not I'm not taking Halo out of the time it came out. You know, in in, in two thousand one when it came out, I'm not trying to make it live up to Call of Duty standards. I realize it's it's not gonna be that. I'm just encapsulating it in two thousand one when it came out. And I mean, and you're talking about sales. Let's let's take a quick look at uh, the sales here. You're talking about. So, I mean, when it you know, it's Halo One has sold five million units, which right. is quite a bit. I, I don't know the exact numbers of like launch and like within a time frame, but um, from a little bit of research I did, I saw that it was five million. You know, Halo Two came back with eight, Halo Three eight point one, and then eight and then Halo Reach. What I had found was three point five million uh, on day of, right. which is. You know, incredible. Like I think it broke. I can't remember the amount of records it broke, but like in sales, like actual dollars uh, that it had made, it broke a ton of records. Like in all forms of media as well. Um, so quite so a bit. Got, but uh, thirty-three billion <laughs> kills in three months. On Halo that's on Halo Reach. Reach. Right. Yeah. So within the first three months, like you know, just that's pretty incredible. People just playing online. But the thing, like I had said, was it had gotten a ninety-seven percent Halo Combat Combat Evolved, the first one, got a ninety-seven percent on Metacritic. You know, compiling of all that stuff, like that's that's an insane number. And also, based on that ratings, it's also within the top ten of the best games via Metacritic. It's along the lines with Ocarina of Time, uh, the Tony Hawk games, uh, Pro Skater Two and Three, which those you gotta admit, those games are pretty sweet. You know, they're, they're <laughs> they were fun, man. I, I think I, people are tired of them now, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> Clearly. I, I just my real issue with Halo is the fact that. I mean, I see there's some good things about it. I don't think it sucks. I'm not going to outright say Halo sucks as a game. Yeah. But I just, of course, compared to Time Splitters 2, which customizable buttons, 60 frames a second, I think a better multiplayer. Um, you know, music, Halo is awesome. I won't deny that. I just, I think it is very overhyped. Let me, let me, let me kind of scale back. I know I've kind of been uh, jaded. Let me scale back and say I just think it's a very overhyped, overpraised game, and had another game that was better come out. I don't think we would see Halo like we do today. I think it would have been forgotten because there would have been some more amazing game. You know, Final Fantasy X somehow well came out on the that's Xbox. A, that's a that's a poor argument. I think that if something better had come out, then yeah, we well, would be yeah. talking about that. Yeah, clearly. But I think that's all. But that's all. I remember Xbox owners telling me that's all they were holding on to. Uh, graphically, I don't find it amazing. Like, look at a game like Panzer Dragoon Orta. That game runs at 60 frames. Looks amazing. This amazing texture bumping, these creatures that they've created, completely rounded off corners and everything. But that I, wasn't launch. No, it wasn't launch. I'm not saying that. This, just, is, this was great at launch, man. Halo 2 came out, they improved on all that stuff. I, and the it graphics looked, in Halo it, 2, I thought were a little bit better. I don't. I didn't see them as amazingly bad. I yeah. just. I, I, but I still had nobody tell me say, "This is what makes this an amazing first-person shooter." And I think even though it's, I know you're saying it's not fair to compare PC to consoles, but a good first-person shooter is good on PC, 
and home consoles. Orange box, perfect example. Well, once they, did, too. once they did start releasing the Halo out on, on PC, it sold really well. People were playing it like crazy online. It worked really well. I, what I'm saying is that this was the first first-person shooter game that I know of that brought that PC experience to your home console because I cannot I cannot say that Goldeneye did that I, and, I Goldeneye, will say, and before this I would say Goldeneye was the best first person shooter I will say that a game like Time Splitters did that I think it had PC like because it had customizable maps uh, you could program the bots I just think like I said I, I, I don't want to be a broken record on this but I think that Halo came at a time when there was really nothing else and the Xbox owners needed something to latch on so they found a, a pretty decent game and really hyped it up. Plus, Microsoft was pimping the hell out of Bungie. And it worked, man. And it those, worked. Those trailers were uh, incredible. They were great. But no one, I mean, when Time Splitters came out, no one's pimping out Free Radical. I, what, IOS? Well, that's who's giving. I mean, at the time, they were, you know, failing with Tomb Raiders. Tomb Raider was nothing anymore. So I think the hype machine. And the advertising is what got Halo what it did. If it would have been advertised but they did like do, this... But look, man, the, the story was really cool. The the environments, the ambiance of the entire like. But I mean, isn't it, isn't it really just cool. like now, the aliens? Now, but no, it's not. I mean, it, it's, it's really it's essentially you, you know. it's one faceless dude. And that, now here's what I'll tell you too, that they did do good in this. They knew what they were doing. It's the faceless warrior thing. It's kind of you read that book, uh, Hero of a Thousand Faces. It's the idea that if you make this faceless warrior then people will put themselves upon that character and, and identify with them. And it's kind of a cheesy tactic because they know that people will identify with them and put themselves in the role of that person. I mean, I just thought that was... Instead of characterizing Master Chief, they just put him as this generic soldier, I think. Well, but still, like I think while playing it, I personally really felt the struggle it wasn't just like oh me killing aliens it's just death 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 like to me right. i really felt like there was that humanity's struggle you know you're going there you need to save you know you need to get rid of these aliens you need to you know stop re you know uh, uh the halo itself you know it really felt i felt that struggle and i think you know the, the music helped it i think the environments helped it um really it felt you know exploring all that stuff, I think, added to it. Now, I could be wrong, but I do believe that Halo 1 was the first console game that allowed you to have your weapon out and throw a grenade without holstering your weapon or changing your inventory. You can just throw it. I believe that's, that is the first game that did that. So That's a good question. I don't, if any, any of, uh, I know we've been, we've been going back and forth. Is there anybody here in the audience who has uh, some opinions on this? Who would like to uh, give us some of your opinions? We will we will take your questions, but I think in the end we're just going to have to agree to disagree. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> but do you have uh, any other like? Because so because I'm just trying to understand like all of your arguments here for this. It's just that the lack of customization, lack of customization, and. The non PC experience? Again, first person shooter to first person shooter. And I know people are saying that's unfair, but, you know, I'll compare an RPG that was on the PC to uh, the Xbox 360. You know, I I think you compare games to games, no, apples I think to apples. You can, but what I'm saying is that at this point, like, with this game, you can't say that it's not as good as a PC shooter because, yeah, there's, there's better first person shooters on PCs at that time. Right. When this came out, I think it was the best first-person shooter on a home console, and it brought that experience to it, especially once you're looking at the, the ability to do LAN and that yeah. whole environment. Then Halo 2 comes out, you're doing the online. It's really pushing that experience, and I think it did it really, really well. I think, I mean, now, Halo Reach, I think, is a really good game. Yeah. Like, had Halo Reach came out when Halo 1, I would have been blown away. Like, look at this amazing experience with all this customization and stuff. But, like, I think they just came out... The I think the excuse that I don't like is, well, it's a console game. So there was no console game like that. So it's okay that it wasn't as great. I wish they would have just said, let's completely build this from the ground up, reach for the stars, make this amazing console game that just blows everything else out of the water. Yeah. But, well, 
Duffman here saying, I think Halo lived up to its hype enough to warrant the original trilogy, but I now think its brand is being oversaturated by the release of Halo 4. I, I right. think I think so. I think Halo 4 were... I would have liked not to see Master Chief. I think it would have been cool for something completely new, something in that universe, but something completely new. But I think, yeah, the hype was enough to get 1, 2, and 3. I think 3, to me... Fell kind of wavered a little bit yeah. off the side. I think it, you know it wasn't as good, but I think you know Reach brought it back. I think the hype was enough to get to Reach. See, and Halo two and War, three retreaded the story. Like two retreaded the story. A, a lot of parts were almost exact carbon copies on some of the story. Three took elements, so it was a lot of recycled. Yeah, two, two was still really cool. Two and was I think, cool. I mean, you know, one of the interesting things about two, like I don't know, when I was playing when I was younger, like the flood freaked the hell out of me man like when the flood comes out and you're like you gotta take get rid of all of it like your heart was racing and for me to get that out of first person shooter experience too like that was pretty cool So we're up to speed for some reason. Which do we, we, do we even before. have viewers right now? five viewers right now. Because <laughs> yeah. we're up to speed. Everyone's like, oh, hey, they got the right kind of title. <laughs> that yeah. they didn't before, and now they do. And everything was going so well. It, it, really, it really felt like a good... Do we start from the beginning, or do we just try to patch it up as it is? I mean, I don't know. I won't have the same experience. I won't have the. <laughs> I won't have the same... It's not the same as the first <laughs> time. You know, the first time is just beautiful. When I lost my Halo JTV virginity, but now it's not the same anymore because yeah. it's again yeah. the thrill is gone. Like BB King says, BB King says. I don't know, man. Do you not know that I, song? No, I don't. Sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> Does anybody else it. out there want to see us repeat this? Everything. Cast? Everything we just did. Maybe we can do it better. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. <laughs> we can do it tomorrow. <laughs> Sleep on it. Sleep no. on it. Yeah, I think we've we've kind of ended it up here, and and we can we can see if we can splice the video together. Yeah, we'll see. We'll splice it up on YouTube because you know you the viewers don't care. But and we'll try not to screw up next time. Exactly, exactly. But we will talk about uh, next week our subject. We're going to be talking about it's more Halo. No, no, no. <laughs> more new. No more Halo. No more Halo. Actually, next week is uh, our co-op conundrum in the age of online gaming is local co-op gaming dead because we're kind of uh i sure hope not i sure i, I mean i miss it i really like sitting down couch getting co together you know with a buddy hanging out yeah. just just hanging out and enjoying the yeah dude baldur's gate freaking awesome or diablo yeah you know I'll just give it short, but it well, was cool. you know, I kind of had hoped that uh, Dungeon Siege would would have some of that elements to it, but I haven't played it yet. But I, I would like to. But. Who knows? Well, thank you, Duffman. And see, we're on time now. I can see you, Duffman, on what you say, and I can respond to it in a timely manner. I have no idea what happened that other time. I really don't. Only time will tell. But uh, yeah, join us next week for that. We'll it'll talk to you one. about that. I think it'll be good. Yeah. We can discuss where it's gone and. Kind of what the implications of online gaming have done great things for us. Yeah, plus... But, plus, but they've kind of hurt us in the same way. Yeah, and, and how does this tie in with the, the whole push of social media? Right, social Everything media. Everything that, you know, we're always on the Twitter, we're doing the Facebook and all that stuff. You sound like, like an old man. We're on the, the, Twitter. the Twitter. Would you say the before? <laughs> that the Twitter and the Facebook yeah. and those... Talking about those the, games on the those, game box. Those game boxes and yeah. all yes, yes. I need my corn cob uh, yeah. <laughs> Corn cob <pipe. laughs> With bubbles coming out. Just to give that little mystique. Yeah. I think. Some but yeah. Spinach too. Let's just go Popeyes. <laughs> pop. yeah. Yeah. But we'll talk about that next week and uh, get your opinions. And hopefully next week we'll have the bugs worked out. But we do appreciate you guys watching this time. And uh, any last final thoughts you have, sir? I'm ready to go play my 3DS. <laughs> you and that darn 3DS yeah, you love oh so much. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Is it pretty sweet? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, good for you. Thank you. I'm glad you found it. Appreciate it. it. <laughs> I'm going to cut you off before you can say anything sarcastic and jerk-like. It's okay. I'll think about it. I'm mm. going to stew over it this week. No. This whole week, I'm going to stew over it. You know, I'm going to play something. it with Demon Souls in the background. No! Yeah. No, you won't. Yeah. I will I will call you up with Bayonetta music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. See ya.